Hey guys, welcome back to another video on Scylla Stuff and Things. Today we are making French onion soup. It's cold here and we need to warm up. I know y'all are gonna be like, girl, it's Florida, but it's still cold. Like it's all relative and what you get used to. So we're cold. Um, I want you guys to comment down below and show some love for Summer because today she is filming her first video. So she's behind the camera today. So pump her up and show her some Moss Squad love. The ingredients we're gonna use are olive oil, sherry, provolone cheese, of course onion, a French baguette, beef broth, Parmesan cheese, butter, thyme, and salt and pepper. Obviously, if you wanna change this around, if you're vegetarian, just take out the beef broth and then there you go, you'll be set. So if you're keto, if you're watching your carbs, don't eat the bread. I don't eat the bread in this, I, it's in there and then I just take it out. So whatever you want, make it how you wanna make it. We're messing with onions, so if you've been around here for a while, you know I don't do anything without my birth control, AKA onion goggles. If you wanna get a pair, they're always linked down below. I'm telling you, they're a lifesaver. I've tried every trick in the book. Um, these just came out of the refrigerator and they make my eyes water. I'm just, I'm sensitive, y'all. So we're gonna go with this, put our onion goggles on and get cutting our onions. So you also know I don't follow recipes. I'm not a recipe person. You're gonna use about four cups of onions for this recipe. And um, yeah, we'll just see kind of how we go. I have five onions up here and we'll, as we go, see how many we actually use. Summer says I crack her up with these goggles on. <laughs> You can't take me serious. Um, but you guys, make sure you're not dicing these onions. They need to be, um, you know, like this, and then you're gonna saute them. So don't dice them, not a dicing situation. Once you have your onion cut up, you are gonna go ahead and add your butter, which we're using half a cup. So I get the half sticks. I don't know about y'all, but I love these. They're so convenient. So I'm just gonna do a half a cup of butter, put that in my pot and then about a tablespoon of olive oil. So just like that. Let that warm up a little bit and then you'll add your onion to the pot. You're not gonna want the onion to brown, you just want to saute it. So make sure you're stirring it constantly so it doesn't get brown. Once you have your onion in the pot, you're just going to let it go until it gets translucent. Um, don't mind the noise in the background. We're getting new flooring put in today. So yeah, this is exciting. Real life happening. That's why I'm all natural, you know, all the things. This is, this is how it goes, but we're eating at home, so that's what matters. I'm gonna go ahead and add my two boxes of beef broth. They are 32 ounces each. You just add that. You can use kind of whatever broth you want to use. I mean, obviously it's not going to taste the same, but if you're vegetarian, then switch it up. There are new rules to cooking, guys. You can be creative. And then two tablespoons of sherry. This is an optional addition. This is a half a tablespoon, so. Okay. I also have a bunch of thyme. <laughs> Got a bunch of thyme. I just throw that in there. Do make sure it's tied up because you don't want it like floating around all over. You're gonna sprinkle some salt and pepper to taste. I get so many comments on this salt and pepper shaker or holder, so it will be linked down below. I've had it for years and I love it. Once you get all of that in there, you're gonna stir it a little bit. I'm gonna put a lid on this and let it simmer for 30 minutes. Super easy. We got about two minutes left, so we're gonna go ahead and cut our bread. I just got a French baguette, and it's actually a little hard, which is fine because we're putting it in the soup and then it'll get like mushy, which is why I don't like eating the bread because I don't like mushy bread, but if that's your thing, then girl, go with it, okay? So we're just gonna cut that up. We have our bowls on our baking sheet and we are gonna be ready to throw this in the oven and broil it. All right, we've got our French onion soup. We're just gonna take the lid off. It smells so good. I wish y'all could smell this right now. You wanna go ahead and take out your thyme. Yeah. 
You'll just take your bowl, dish up your soup. You're gonna add Parmesan cheese to the top. Then you're gonna put your provolone. Oh, I forgot the bread. So we're just gonna stick two pieces of bread in here. Put your provolone on top like that. If you're a cheese person, go with three pieces. I wanna make it extra good for them. Like that. So that's what the rest of them will look like. We're gonna throw it in the oven on broil. I'm gonna do high and just watch it very close. We have leftovers, so we're gonna go ahead and make Abby a little dish for tomorrow. It won't be broiled, but they can just uh, throw it in the microwave and warm it right up and she'll love it. She loves French onion soup. All right, guys, we've got everything out of the oven. It's ready to go. So thank you so much for hopping on and joining us. Comment down below, are you a French onion soup fan? What is your favorite soup? Thank you guys, we will see you next time. Bye.